hello and yeah i don't really know what to do so i have a bunch of video that i want to talk about leak but after editing one video i just i don't know i just don't feel like posting it and so i i decided to you know <laughs> make this a really long video not talking about some topic that I don't know, I just, I don't feel like editing, so just this is one take, and if it is better, then I'm gonna post this kind of video, but yeah, uh, I don't know where to place the camera, anyway, uh, this is about league, so yeah, there's two topics that I have in my mind, that is, league is dying, and the other one is about the communication communication issue in league so let's just go over it first uh, the league is dying you know a lot of people have said that or uh, you know their disappointment about the game or you know league is on this brink of being a dead game because you know eSports is not really uh, a really profitable thing and league is kind of like uh, moving on this uh, net loss right or something like that I don't really know but Mostly it is on the skin, right? They make skin so expensive that people thought that the game is dying and they need more revenue, stuff like that. But yeah, you can speculate it you know, it you can only speculate how the state of the game, the state of the company is because you are on you know, you are a player, you don't really know much. But you know, being backed up by one of the biggest company in the world, Tencent, I, I doubt it, right? And as you can see, the I would say uh, overall scene in League is it not dying. Let's be honest here. League, I think record number every year have its record number of uh, watch in the world final, right? It every year it just more people watch it, and so. You cannot really say that it is dying, but I personally think that people say it kind of mean like to them, right? League is dying to them because they are no longer interesting in the gaming or the game and the game or at least the game that they used to enjoy kind of die out in them, right? They burn now, so it's kind of like that. But in some way, I do understand, like, you know, League is not what it used to be. It is a constantly changing game. But in some way, I understand why, you know, I used to uh, stay or voice out my thought about League. But it never about, you know, it is on the verge of dying. It's just about the community. And I will always advise people to you know just if you don't enjoy the game just stop it you know there's no reason on why you should try and play the game try to enjoy it if you don't right it's like everything in life take a break and all that stuff but yeah league is not dying it is i wouldn't say it is thriving but it is on a steady note of maybe you know, it is on a steady note. It is, after all, it is a free game. And it is easy to learn, right? If you put in the time, it requirement for your hardware is very minimal. Like, I'm pretty sure you can play it on a potato. But yeah. Of course, there is more to it, right? The variety of bleak content in the internet, the music, the a movie show and even other YouTube content creator, right? It's not a dying scene, as is is what I'm trying to say. I don't really know, and personally, I never watch any video that say, "Oh, League is dying," but I think I saw it once, one video that talked about it, like a years ago, two years ago, because so many YouTube old YouTube content creator quit League, right? They move on to something else, and think it was in this kind of stalemate uh, state where 
people don't really see much happen to league, right? It it is a boring time. So I guess that is how they they think the game is kind of dying. But this year, I think the next year, 2024, the next season gonna have a lot of change. So I think it is a bit exciting. But in the end of the day, I think you know people having burnout about the game is just how I said you know you're having play for the game for I don't know how many years, five years or more. You you kind of want to you don't feel like you enjoy the game as you used to stuff like that. It it is it happened. It's just like relationship, right? You don't really need a reason to break up with the other person. It's just very rare instant that it it just is, you know. And like I said, league you cannot really expect league to always be this uh, going forward or going upward kind of trend because it's not right. Not all song from a particular singer is have to be like 10 out of 10 over time not for a movie series same go to uh, an anime stuff like that right you cannot really expect league to you know constantly changing for the benefit of you or you know you think that how it's gonna change is gonna be the best for league right you cannot really expect that one of the other things that People are kind of like burn out in league because they stop progressing. You play rank, which is the main thing of league, right? And you hit your peak rank. And what then? You know, you have nothing to do. Technically, you can still play the game. But the more you play, the more you try to climb. The more you see that you fail to climb. And it just builds up more frustration over time. And what we will resulting in you not really enjoying the game anymore which is why I always encourage people to take break or stop playing the game there is such a wide number of games for you to enjoy for free too and you can still enjoy league let's be honest you went to league knowing that you enjoy it right you went into a game knowing that it is because you enjoy it, not because it is a popular game. In conclusion, I guess uh, you know, league is not dying, and I really hope that the community will constantly kind of complain about everything for the right cause. But you know, hoping that league will be like this uh, never-ending flame. But of course, only time will tell how it's gonna go in the future. So the next thing is kind of like, I guess, related to uh, how League is kind of dying because it is a lonely game. Now, one of the reasons why League is a game that requires you know, minimum communication is, is very simple. You don't have to communicate. The communication in League uh, is very simple, right? you done by ping and all of the... Uh, skill and uh, I don't know what is the, the thing that you call the call out I guess uh, is not really there there is no really call out for position there is no need for that real time instant communication at all and I don't know I think a lot of player league player uh, including myself feel like they don't really want to talk about uh, the game right to the other player because it is distracting right you don't want the other person to tell you what to do like hey come down here hey do this do that like it's not a really comfortable uh, situation to be in which is why I understand why some people don't want to you know do voice chat and like I said you can see almost everything on your screen right if your teammate want to do dragon you know if your teammate have an ultimate you know if your team have enough health to do a certain objective you know so you don't really need to have to communicate with the other person that much to let them know what kind of resources we have right and so yeah but 
the main point I think people kind of afraid to um, talk to each other is the community. The community. It is toxic, as you can already imagine. Like let me be honest, I think they are a bit less toxic than a lot of people seem or make it out to be. But then again, like I think it's like a selective sample uh, of uh, toxicity that you can only see on the internet, right? Because not many time where people show that oh my teammate is really nice, my teammate is really understandable from you know from a good game and all that stuff, right? Even if we lose, no, that just a lot of things on the internet that you see on YouTube, on other people stream. It's just that people being toxic in the game, people run it down mid, right? And stuff like that. So, but then again, like I I played this game for like more than a year. I know how toxic it is. I was one of them too. And yeah, and like I said, it is very distracting. And when you kind of decided to you know, communicate with your teammate, you kind of open up this third gate for other person, other people to trigger yourself, to trigger you. Like, you know, you talk to the other person, the person kind of like arguing back, right? You, you're on this constant argument that distract you from the game. And so nobody is really focused on the game itself. They just want to be the right one. They have ego. They have, you know, their knowledge of what they think. Oh, I'm right. And stuff like that. You just not really... Uh, what was the word? ID situation, I guess. If you kind of do that, right? If you try to communicate. I don't know, it is the right word. I'm, I'm not really sure. But basically, it is like a 1v9 game, right? Where even though your teammate is doing good and all that stuff, when they do bad, it is a 1v9 game where you have to sort of like tiptoe around the conversation, the communication, so that your teammate don't get tilted, don't get toxic. And yeah, it's just not really idea. You know, idea is just mood everyone play your own game and you know try to do the minimum communication and all that stuff it's very easy you know it's more easier than trying to you know say to your jungle like hey it's okay just don't argue with your bot lane or support go to top and help you you don't you cannot really try to juggle everything by yourself right and the same go to your teammate they don't want to do that and I don't need to and I shouldn't do that but you know everyone have to play their own role and so in the end of the day it's just a choice to you know choose whether you choose to communicate or not and which bring back to you know league is a lonely game because it have to right because if you want to focus on a game on winning you play the best option which is not to communicate at all but then again, when it comes to making a positive thing in the community, talking is very important because you can actually communicate, you can make the game uh, better, less toxic when you talk. When the other person is more understanding, you you can have more fun in the game, stuff like that, right? But then again, like this is league, you know, and its community is. Uh, I just said they're not the friendliest people in in the planet, but yeah. In the end of the day, it's just about chance, you know. You have to willingly to give league and the community a chance, and also have to play a back active role to contribute to the chain, to make the community more positive, to make the game more fun. And it is a cycle, you know. If you're being fun, understandable to the other person, they might try to do the same. And it kind of circulate and repeat and create a feedback loop of everyone wanting to be positive, stuff like that, right? And so even if you have a bad game, if you, if you lose, there's not uh, a negative thing happen, right? Stuff like that. So, yeah, that's it. That's the true problem. I cannot believe that <laughs> I, I waste so much time yesterday trying to make a video 
But then again, now I have a 15 minute video ready and to go. But uh, let me know if this format really work or not. Right, I'm in my blanket, it's hot as hell. Uh, yeah, my laptop is running out of battery. So thank you for watching. See you next one. Goodbye.